how cliche YouTubers are. Look at this. No wonder my bag is so heavy. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a what's in my purse video and I actually haven't filmed one of these on this channel. For those of you who have been watching me for a while, you know I did come from a previous channel and I changed to Kathleen's Closet. It's a long story, yada yada yada. But basically I have not done a what's in my purse on this channel and I was like, what the heck? Like that is the classic YouTube video. I'm texting my YouTube friends from the Seven Glamouristas, my previous collab that I was in, and we are all doing a group text right now, and so I should probably turn off my phone. Right now we're chatting about beauty blenders. How cliche YouTuber is that? And I figured this would be the perfect opportunity since my bag is kind of overstuffed. This is a huge, huge bag to begin with, and look how much crap I have accumulated in there. So yeah, this is kind of like me cleaning out my bag slash you guys seeing what's in it. By the way, um, is this not the most amazing American flag bag you have ever seen in your life? I definitely got it from stevemadden.com. I'm not sure if you can get it at the Steve Madden store, um, but it is amazing. If it's still available, I will definitely link it because this bag gets so many compliments every single day. It's so fringy and fun. America. Okay, so to start off with, I have an Ulta catalog, another cliche beauty YouTuber thing, but I honestly, I have no idea why it's in here. I feel like that's how it's going to be for a lot of things, but yeah. Next up, I have this thing from Ciate that I actually just got like an hour ago. Um, at TJ Maxx, and it's like a Ciate foiling kit thing, and this actually is going to be featured in a giveaway that I'm going to be doing pretty soon. I just realized that I'm almost at 400 subscribers, and I've never done a giveaway before. This is definitely going to be part of it, and so keep your eyes out for that video. And then I had to get one for myself, too. I have my wallet. It's just a little um, Michael Kors envelope kind of wallet. My boyfriend gave it to me, little sweet thing, but oh, this is a brochure for Damsel in Defense, which is basically like designer pepper spray and tasers. I totally want to get a pink taser, um, but I thought it would be really cool because I usually work late nights at um, Target, and so it's kind of sketchy to be walking out at like 12 o'clock at night into your car. It's just like, I would love to have this. I think it'd be super cool. So, and look, they have Chevron pepper spray. How cute. And I actually think I'm going to be hosting a party. So we'll see. And another brochure. This is for Stella Paris. It was some makeup company at um, the state fair when I went to. So obviously I have not cleaned out this in quite a while because I went to the state fair like a month ago. Dave and Buster's coupon kind of thing. The dashboard wipe that my boyfriend won. It's pretty much a big hitter right there. Target receipt. Lip gloss. This is the Beauty Rush lip gloss. And it smells really good, but it's really sticky. I've got a mini hairbrush. I have a herbo. How cute. I actually made this one. It's a DIY herbo. A little card for Dutch Brothers Coffee. If you guys have not tried Dutch Brothers Coffee, I think it's kind of a NorCal thing. But you seriously, like this is the best coffee I've ever had in my life. They have this macadamia nut coffee and I swear it is the best coffee in the world. I actually want one right now. Huh. I have a Panera card because my work is right next to Panera and so I'm kind of a regular there now. I have... That was a little dramatic. Um, it's the instant dry shampoo and I've never actually tried it. Huh. Hush phone. These glamouristas are going crazy on my phone. Um, I have deodorant because I sweat really bad and so I definitely need to have this at all times. It's just a necessity. I don't know why I have a bail bonds card. Probably for the next time that I get arrested because I'm basically a thug. I have a state fair ticket. A Costco membership. Whoop whoop. They have cheap gas so. Another hair bow. Do, do, do. My keys! Good, because I was I couldn't find my keys earlier, and so I'm glad I just found them. So yay! And then Planet Fitness, if any of you guys are in that gym, please leave a comment because I would like to know who my Planet Fitness sisters are, even though I haven't been to the gym in like a month because I'm lazy. Bah. A granola bar that's probably a couple months old. More granola bars that are probably really old as well. Headphones that I just bought that I already messed up because I can't take care of things. Oops. 
I have my boyfriend's sunglasses. Sorry, Cody. A glow bracelet. A medical card with a band-aid attached to it. Um, I don't know how that happened, but I think that's kind of ironic. My beauty inside a card. Woo woo. A tampon. Um, a Rite Aid card. Tickets to see Luke Bryan that I already got to see. Woo woo. He was so good. Oh my god. Luke Bryan pretty much melts my heart. So thank you Lauren for taking me. My best friend surprised me with tickets and it was such an awesome show. I have a Crossroads receipt as well and a TJ Maxx receipt and a Panera receipt and a tissue and another Target receipt and a free car wash upgrade because my car desperately needs it. I have really old pepper spray and I'm not even sure if it works. So yeah, let's test it out. That's like looking into the face of death. Another glow stick. Tickets to Country in the Park that I just went to and I saw. I saw Darius Rucker. He played a bunch of Hootie and the Blowfish songs and I got really excited and I was like, Hootie! The ridiculous plethora of Dave and Buster's tickets that my boyfriend won. I swear half of the stuff in my purse is my boyfriend's. I'm probably gonna have to yell at him. Ooh, pink chiffon spray because you know, sometimes it's the summertime, get a little musky, you kind of smell a little bad. Just spray this on and you're good to go. Another deodorant because apparently one is just not enough for me. Some of this crap, I'm like, how did this even end up in my purse? I have this baby. This is the cutest thing ever. Um, I got it during Christmas time at Target last year. One of my coworkers found it and she's like, you have to have this. And so, I don't know, I just keep it. I think it's cute. Look, ready? year round and I love it and it's a gift card so you can put money on it I just think it's so cute so I don't know why it's in my purse but I think it's cute I think this oh uh Walgreens card you can tell I'm a shopaholic when I have like every single rewards card that there is I have these sunnies that I got at Delia's they are the cutest things ever and I wish I would have gotten like four other pairs because they are just that cute and I wear these more than like my Ray-Bans or anything else. They're just so darn cute! My Crossroads trading card employee card kind of thing but I don't want to give you guys my information because I don't want you guys stalking me. Just saying. I know I'm just that popular that I'm gonna have like 15 stalkers. I have an Ulta card, another Costco card, I don't know why I need two, a library card, Triple A card, extra care card, Sally's card, another triple A card. Don't know why I have so many, but I have a lot, a lot of cards. These things are the cutest things in the world. Okay, look at this and guess what this is. I'll give you a minute. They're tampons. They are the cutest things in the world. They're like little tiny mini baby tampons and you don't even realize that they are tampons. They're just like kind of emergency kits. They're like the little kind of creepy looking ones. It kind of, they're like not really comfortable or anything, but they're just like, I don't know. They're just cute, okay? That's why I bought them, okay? I have EOS lip balms galore. Ew, okay, this is just wrong. I have a Starbucks ready to brew. Um, little Via thing from Christmas time. It's one of their like peppermint mocha thing. Yeah, I don't know if that's good or not, but it kind of makes me want to drink it, even though I know that's kind of gross. But whatevs. I have hand sanitizer. It's the I Heart Shoes one, of course. And look at the back. It's so cute. It has a little Eiffel Tower and a bow. I wish the actual Eiffel Tower had a bow. That would be really cute. They should do that. I'm gonna contact Paris. Another Target receipt and In-N-Out Burger because you live in California and you have not had In-N-Out Burger. I feel sorry for your life and for your existence because you just haven't been living because In-N-Out Burger is amazing. Oh my god. I think the rest of this stuff is just lip products. Oh my god, you guys. Look at this. No wonder my bag is so heavy. Okay, let's see what I have. Oh, this is what I mentioned earlier, the Stella Paris uh, lip products that I got at the State Fair. They're alright, they're not like anything amazing, I wouldn't really rave about them, but they are, I mean, decent lip stains, I guess. I have the Pop Beauty little crayon thing that was in the Ipsy bags. Um, I have the Mega Plump, uh, it's like a Wet n Wild lip gloss, the Miranese lip balm, 
I have a Maybelline Color Whisper. This is in the shade Cherry on Top. I have, ah, oh, I've been looking for this. My one and only MAC lipstick. It is Angel, and I love this, even though I couldn't find it for a long time. Uh, Maybelline Shiny Licious. I don't even know if they carry these. I think I got this at the dollar store, actually. And then a Revlon Lip Butter in Sweet Tart. I have the Pink Baby Lips, and then also, these are the best lipsticks ever. These are the Milani lipsticks, and this one is in the shade Fruit Punch, and I love these! These are pretty much a tie between MAC as my favorite lip products, because they are so good, and they taste like Jolly Ranchers. Even though you're not really supposed to eat your lip products, they still taste amazing. Yay! So that is it for my what's in my bag. There's nothing left in there. And